Hi, I'm Mel and I am Double Pisces Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today is the 22nd of July, 2024. Let's see what's in the energy today for Pisces. So just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch the video is when you're supposed to be receiving the messages. Messages for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? I didn't see that card. I wanted to come out. Something to do with your community. So whether this be your local community or your online there is a pub or a bar on there. So I feel like it could be something local. It could have something to do with friends. You've got a child here also. And there's also a bunch of flowers behind the little boy. So there could be something surprising coming towards you. To me, it looks like the man is, I could be wrong, but it looks like the man's giving the flowers. So someone that could be in your community, there could be, see that man right at the back there? I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a younger gentleman right at the back that you don't see behind everyone. So there could be someone admiring you. It's really coming out that's in your community. You've got the lovers. This could be somebody new in your energy. You've got the white doves. So you like pure distant horizons. So this could be coming in the future. Distant horizons is also someone living at a distance. So this could be someone that is your online community also. Someone that will be coming towards you in the future. It's got something to do with a lover. So someone has their eye on you. You've got courthouse coming out on the back of the deck. So a ruling. Someone's given a ruling. Someone's giving a judgment call. Let's now grab out the tarot for you, Pisces, and see what you need to be aware of today. But you have an energy here admiring you. Someone, as I said, that could either be part of your online community or, you know, your actual local community. I'm just going to change that. Okay, Pisces, let's do it. Messages for Pisces today. The Queen of Swords, first card of the reading. Someone that has had a rough past, someone that's had lessons in the past that they have learned from. Someone that has very firm boundaries. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. You could be very focused on the material world at the moment, Pisces your crop, the Nine of Swords, the Six of Wands, center of your reading today. The Queen of Cups, Pisces energy. We will grab out clarifiers for these once I have finished Pulling all the cards, you've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the High Priestess, and the King of Wands. On the back of the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So this has got something to do with the Soul Connection. A soulmate. 
let's grab out these clarifiers for the cards now, Pisces, and let's get into it. Start of the reading, though, as I said, you've got the Queen of Swords, someone that's been through a lot. She holds these firm boundaries up. Who is the Queen of Swords? You've got the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. And the Three of Chalices. So I was feeling that energy when I was drawing the clarifiers, actually. So you may have cut somebody off, Pisces. Okay, that's what I see here. The Queen... I feel like she's used the sword. There could have been a reconnection, um, a reconciliation with someone that could have manipulated. There could have also been a third party that was involved. I feel like you've cut this because you've got the seven of swords coming out here. So leaving a situation in contemplation about something that you've put a lot of work into and deciding whether to leave the situation or not. But I feel like you are pushing on from that. Okay, as I said, there could have been a third party involved. You've also got the five of wands on the back of the deck. So a lot of conflict. But to me, it looks like you've cut that off. And you're sitting in this nine of pentacles energy here. So someone that's in like single energy, focused on themselves. They don't actually have to be single. What's the Nine of Pentacles? But you're focused on your crop, you know? You're focusing on trying to get those Ten of Pentacles, trying to get the abundance. What's the Nine of Pentacles? You've got the Four of Wands. So 11-11, you're on the right track. I feel like this 1111, you're on the right track, is also divine telling you, yes, you've done the right thing by cutting this person off, by using your sword, by having those firm boundaries up with that energy. So that is like a confirmation for whoever needs to hear that, that yes, you've done the right thing. What's the Nine of Pentacles? This is going to lead to celebration and happiness also. You've got the Sun and the Four of Wands. So, you know, the Four of Wands is a celebration. It's a completion. You've got the sun. That's also happiness, healing. Could be very focused on family also with the sun coming out. And then you've got the Queen of Wands. So you're focused on yourself. You're focused on something that you know is going to lead to success. And as I said, it could be family also, something that you're building taking action and moving forwards everything you need you have around you you don't need that energy you've cut them out look at you sit comfortably here you know there's a few deaths of cycles here but you're proud of it you've worked hard for this You know, but I feel like you are focused on your crop. You're focused on success, okay? And it's going to lead to even more. You know, it's going to lead to happiness. It could also lead to marriage in the future. There's someone here that is watching you, admiring you, that will be coming in in the future energy. You can see that on the Kipper cards there. You are looking very attractive. You know, you're sitting in queen of wands energy is someone that's very fiery focused on their passion focused on their dreams she's the warrior woman no one is going to stop her from doing what she wants to do she is someone that is understandable too she does use all the elements but i really feel like this has given you a lot more time to focus on you cutting that energy off What's the Nine of Swords for Pisces? You have the Three of Swords. 
So you may have walked away from that. You're focusing on yourself. You're realizing that you don't need anybody else. You're making your own way through life. You've got the five of wands. You're fighting an internal battle, though. I feel like even though you could have said goodbye to this energy, there could be a codependency with you and this person. They may have been in your life for a while, that there is these thoughts. Did I do the right thing? Did I do the right thing? But there is, it's all coming out. You've got the devil, Capricorn energy. That could be significant. But there was this codependency with this. This was like, this was like the devil's play. That's what I feel like. Someone or something is trying to hold you back and manipulate you. When this energy, when you cut this energy off, you feel this release. You know that you don't have to give to this person. You have all this free time. But then you start thinking about it. You could be feeling lonely. Like you see all those things on Instagram and that about don't let your loneliness make you go back to an ex kind of thing. Like, so the thought process, but you are thinking about this, you know, you're thinking about this heartbreak. You're thinking about the conflict. You see that this was leaving you stuck with the devil coming out. It's leaving you stuck because there wasn't, like there's these illusions that are in play. This was just something toxic. But you are starting to realize that even though there could be this codependency to this person, you are working through it, Pisces. Every day is a day closer to healing. What is the Six of Wands for Pisces? You have the Six of Cups or the Six of Chalices. The Queen of Chalices. So the Queen of Cups. And the High Priestess. So I feel Pisces, even though you, you still think about this person, you still feel chained to the energy. And there's a lot of memories, you know, as you still move forwards. But there is someone coming in with a message, I feel, in the future. You just need to keep going, keep moving forward. Now, you were giving a lot, I feel, to this energy in the past. You could have been giving all your love. You know, and here she is here, the Queen of Chalices, giving to the Six of Cups, like giving to the soulmate, giving everything to the soulmate that could have involved a third party. But I feel like you're starting to realize now that you need to give to yourself. You need to keep pushing forwards. These memories that you have of this person, I feel like you could keep these hidden from people around you. But giving to yourself is going to lead you to success. And we keep seeing it because this is coming out for the Six of Wands. You're walking into success, okay? Even though there are these memories still of the past, this is now the time to give to you, okay? And there could be people cheering you on from leaving this energy, even though it is hard. It's hard for you to leave it. You can see that you've got these memories, but people are cheering you on because there was this manipulation. I feel like there was illusions, things being hidden, codependency or addictions. But you're pushing on, okay? You could be doing something spiritual. But I feel like your rank is getting higher in whatever you're doing right now. 
What is this Queen of Cups for Pisces? You've got the Ten of Pentacles. What's the Queen of Cups here? The Fool. So Queen of Cups, that is your energy. As I said, Pisces, I wasn't going to say it was you until I clarify. And, you know, I feel like this isn't you, okay? So Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be significant. You've got the Five of Swords on the back of the deck. There was a conflict, something you walked away from. This could be this person from the past, okay? You could have been married to this person. You know, they come out as the Queen of Cups. So to me, them coming out as the Queen of Cups, um, Tarot has no gender, just remember that. This person, to me, they don't look happy. This person's upset. She's, to me, she looks like an upset queen that she's, she's all in her emotions, okay? You know, she sort of reminds me of, I have been watching like all the Star Wars at the moment. So it does remind me of like Anakin um, in his emotions, like hate emotions, like really taking over their whole self. So I feel like this person's emotions, that they're not receiving the love from you anymore, they're going to come in again, okay? It's in the center of your reading here, Pisces. You could have had family with them. You could have been working together with this energy. This person could also have a third party, but they're wanting to come towards you, okay? They are wanting to take this fool energy. There could be something to do with children. You know, so either this person is leaving a situation that they were in. This could be someone from the past. But it could also be someone new. To me, that queen, she was upset. She's upset coming in. But there is someone here that is going to come forwards. Aries Aquarius energy could also be significant. I feel like this could be someone from the past. Because it's like you're taking this leap. To me, it's like you're the fool. You're taking a leap and then I see this crocodile, like, be careful when you want to take a new leap because there is someone here that's very emotional. They could have fire in their chart. They're wanting to come in with a message. Younger energy could also be significant with the fool coming out. You know, that's childlike. Also, you know, childlike is immature. Yeah, I feel like this is that person from the past. So do be careful. This person's coming in not happy, emotional. What's the Eight of Pentacles here for Pisces? You have the Five of Chalices. The Queen of Swords. And the Seven of Chalices. So I feel like Pisces, this is in the current energy. If they haven't come back yet, they may be coming back very shortly, okay? But I feel like this is going to leave you in some type of um, decision making, okay? This person, I feel, does want to come in and do it all again. Virgo energy could be significant. To me, you know that there's a path you need to take, okay? There's something you're working on here. There could be more than one thing that you're doing.
Like you are embarking on this journey. As I said, when this person comes in, I feel like they're feeling sad, feeling lost. You've got the Queen of Swords coming out, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be significant. They don't actually have to be feminine also. To me, you sit in Queen of Swords energy with this person. You hold these boundaries up with this person. You've evolved, okay? And to me, you hold this, you know, you hold this knife up to these seven cups, okay? So to me, you're cutting out what is not right. I feel like you could be working on a lot also, and you could be deciding to cut out, you know, either people, you could be doing a lot for others, you could be cutting out people, jobs, things that just aren't working for you at the moment. But there's something about making a decision, choosing a decision. This could be something online. But I feel like this person, like I have been seeing that come out in the readings the last few days about them choosing you like like Ralph Wiggum, like that I ch ch choose you, like <laughs> that was coming out, like that's been coming out, like I ch ch choose you. Yeah, because this person is lost. They're lost without you, okay? I feel like they want you to make a move and come back to them, but I don't think you're doing that, and that's why they're going to come in upset. But as I said, this is your choice, Pisces. Everybody has free will. Whether you want this person back in your life or not, whether they just keep causing drama, let's do this future energy for you. What is the Seven of Wands? You have the Knight of Chalices. The Four of Swords. This person could have a lot of people or people in their energy that don't want them to come forwards towards you. I feel like them not having you in their life, it's like I feel like you bring stability into this person's life. I, I also feel like with the Seven of Swords coming out that this person, sorry, the Nine of Swords coming out, this person cannot sleep at night. I don't feel like they can heal from this. You know, they're coming in with this cup of love wanting to bring in like some type of stability okay i feel like they could also be coming in with the truth with some type of truth with the moon coming out on the back of the deck something you don't see but they want to fight for this okay i feel like nothing is going to stop them from coming back but as i said Everybody has free will, Pisces. What are you going to do? What's the High Priestess? What is this High Priestess? You've got judgment. So the High Priestess, that is your energy, Pisces. Waking to a call. You've got the Knave of Swords, so the Page of Swords. And the two of wands. So you will make a decision. I feel like you're going to focus on yourself. You've got the high priestess coming out. There is like a higher path for you. You have a lot of cats here. Like two cats anyway. Three maybe. Something about using intuition. 
following your path. You know that there is something you need to do. And I feel like this person just leaves stagnancy. You're going to make that decision. You're going to wake to your core, like make a decision about like a journey you are on. You've got the Knave of Swords coming out. The Knave of Swords is a spy card, but I also feel like this is you being a student, okay? You may just be starting, you know, your spiritual journey goes, is a never ending journey, okay? You're always learning. But I feel like you know that there's some type of higher path for you and I feel you're choosing to end this. You're making the decision to end it. So you can focus on you, focus on yourself, focus on what divine wants you to do for this lifetime, okay? Your mission. What's the King of Wands here? You've got Justice. So Justice, Libra Energy. You've got the Eight of Swords. And the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. The Hermit Virgo energy on the back of the deck. So you're making the decision to leave that past, okay? You've got a King of Wands, Fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius coming in here right at the end of the reading. Just as you make that decision to move forwards... This person is someone that is very attracted to you with their King of Wands. The King is also someone that doesn't take no for an answer. Okay, this person follows their dreams. They don't listen to what anybody else says. This could be someone that's creative. Someone that's like a fighter that like fights for what they believe in, okay? Someone that's strong, wise. Libra energy could also be significant, but you've got the Nine of Pentacles coming out in reverse. I feel like this person's wanting to like court you or something. This is going to come in in the future. This person sits there watching you, watching you make the decision to leave that energy. This could be a friend, someone that you know, because this person does see you. They see who you are, okay? And I feel like they want to court you. Something about this. But they see you as, you know, this justice card. They see you have these boundaries up. They see that you're ready to cut people off. They see you hold the scales, okay? They know that if they come in, they need to come in right. But this person, for some reason at the end of this reading here, their thoughts hold them back from moving forwards. This person could also be someone that's not single, okay? Because Knight of Pentacles Upright is like in single energy. This person may not be single. This person knows that they have to give right also, which leaves them in their head because they look at you as someone that's very powerful, someone that does have these boundaries up. You know, you sit in the Queen of Swords. This person knows you've been through a lot. They know you're over the crap. So I feel like this is like, an admirer. There's an admirer here that comes in in the future.
Interesting. Okay. Pisces. So for what you don't see on the back of the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So this could be a soulmate. This could be someone from a past lifetime. They could also be from your past, but we'll grab out some clarifiers. What's the Ten of Pentacles? You've got the Knight of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. And the Wheel. So the Wheel, Sagittarius energy. You've got the Two of Wands on the back of the deck. So there's someone coming towards you, okay? Someone you could have had a family with. This person wants to start working with you. So whether they're working on something in the material world with you with the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is about legacy also. Like a blended family. This is someone that wants to be reliable. As I said, this could be someone from the past. I don't feel like this person that's coming in in the future is someone from the past or you know what I mean like someone you dated in the past okay this person wants to come in and help you you know I feel like they want to bring in abundance this is a new turn on the wheel I feel like you're leaving something that could have been um on and off all the time but this is going to be something that's reliable Sagittarius energy could be significant, as I said, but you're leaving that backwards and forwards energy, okay? You're making the decision to start something new, to focus on the things that matter, and there will be someone coming in that's going to help bring in this abundance in the future. What's the Six of Cups? What is the Six of Cups? You have the King of Chalices. So King of Chalices, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <clears throat> and then you've got the Lovers and the Seven of Chalices. There is someone watching you, someone is admiring you. That's really coming out. Six of Cups. They're choosing you. They're making the decision. As I said, there could have been, there could be a third party with this energy, but they're making the choice to come in with the King of Chalices. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be significant. This could be someone from the past. You know, everyone's story is different, but I feel like this is this new person. They could be leaving something in their past also okay but they're making a decision you see them looking at all those cups there on which which cup to choose okay now this could have been someone you were married to this could be someone that has water in their chart this is someone i feel that holds their emotions back from you But he's making a choice and he's choosing this cup right here, which is, there could be, you may be working with this person. Like, as I said, it could be a friend, it could be someone that's already in your energy. The ball may have started rolling with this person, okay? But they're choosing you, this admirer. You will have options, okay, Pisces? But I feel like you need to leave the old to bring in the new, okay? You need to uh, complete that cycle. Okay. 
Okay, Pisces. Whoops, I just dropped my bell. Let's grab out a music message for the collective. One card, please, spirits. Listen to your heart, rock set. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless, so if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I am also doing personal readings. So if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much. I hope you all have a great week. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.